Shalom. First and foremost, I want to say Ka Hala Yahweh, Wa Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Wakwa Kadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the elect, preaching his word and truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. I want to talk uh, um, um, sorry, I want to talk about um, uh, where the love of the Lord, in what nation does the love of the Lord lies in? And obviously, you know, if you've been keeping up with GMS or if you're in this truth, you know it's only with Israel. And uh, I just want to support that through the scriptures because, you know, even, even in today's time, you still have people who believe that the Most High is here to love everybody. And that's just completely false. The Most High is not here to love every nation or everybody. He's in, he loves one nation and his promises and his gifts are and his blessings are, are with and for only one nation. And even in that nation, he has a chosen within his, within his chosen nation. All right? And his chosen nation is Israel, which is you Negroes, Latinos, and North American Indians. And so on and so forth. So within the tribe of uh, Israel. Now, obviously, you have Gentiles. So you have you're gonna have Jakes or Israelites that look like the other nations. Yeah, you know, they might look like Esau, might look like Moab, might look like Elam. All right, but uh, you know that comes through a mixing of the multitude, right? Because as Israel, we've been scattered across the four corners of the earth, and uh, we mingled. With and dwelt with the, with these other nation other nations, and so yeah, through the flesh they might be other you know a heathen or look like a heathen, but in their spirit they are Israel. You could tell by the way they vibe. All right, so actually you know I'll get an example of that real quick. I got a precept for that. Just to back up what I'm saying. Bear with me. This is Romans chapter 8, verses um, 16. It says, The Spirit itself bear witness, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh. And that's true. It's the Spirit, not the flesh. All right? Because, you know, Apostle Kabar. I used to remember hearing him say this all the time, but that, uh, you know, Jake, Jake expects, you know, Israel to look, or they expect Israel to look like West, Wesley Snipes, so the average, typical, you know, looking Negro, but what they lack to understand is the, is the meat of, of, of the Gentiles, of the, of the, of, of Gentiles. And Israelite foreigners, right? Because again, you have Israelite foreigners and Gentiles, Gentiles who are Israelite foreigners. So Israelites who didn't know that they were Israelites, just like you know what, all of us before we came in this truth, you know, for me, for example, before I came in this truth, I thought I was a so-called African from Nigeria, in the tribe of Igbo. Little did I know that uh, when I came in this truth, that I'm actually an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. You know what I mean? So every, even the apostles, every single person before coming to truth, we were all Gentiles, right? So don't don't mark a man by his countenance as far as as far as heritage go. You know, you might yeah, the scriptures say you might you you, uh, you may know a man through his countenance, but as far as heritage go, heritage goes, um, that's all spiritual, man. It's all through the spirit. So uh, Romans eight and sixteen, the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit spirit that we are the children of of Yahweh and if children then heirs heirs of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's and joint heir with Mashiach Yahweh Shai if so be that we suffer with him that we may be also glorified together that's true man and that that's really talking about the elect at that point the elect are the only ones who are joint heir, but the elect are of Israel. So the elect of Israel are joint heirs to Yahweh Shai. And, um, and that's because, one, they're Israelites. They have to be Israel. Two, they're suffering with Yahweh Shai, 
right now. Lord willing, those of us that are sincerely doing this truth, beginning with the apostles on down, that we are of the elect. And we're doing this and we're suffering, man. We're going through it while everybody else in this kingdom is uh, living, you know, for lack of better terms, living their best life. Right? This is their heaven. This Esau's kingdom is their heaven. It is their heaven. Esau's kingdom for us is our hell. Those of us that are awake, it's our hell. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, if we're going to suffer with him, suffer with him. You know, low when we're of the elect, we're also going to be glorified with him as well. Has being joint heirs. All right, so back to my point. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start off with. Uh, I'm gonna read um, Psalms, uh, one forty-seven, and I'm gonna start at verse nineteen. And it says, "He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel." That is straight forward and to the point, right? So he showeth his word, which is unto Jacob. And if you don't know, Jacob, before he was named Israel, um, he was Jacob. And uh, then he fought with the angel and got his blessing. And then his name was changed to Israel. So he's a father, he's a progenitor of Israel, basically. Right? So Israel, like again, I said, Israel um, consists of the Negroes, Latinos, and North American Indians. Right? So we are the chosen children, the chosen people of the Most High, Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai, and his words, this scripture is the Bible, this, this book is his word, man, this is his word, right, so his word was only meant for Israel to understand, because that's his people, it's that simple, it's just like, uh, so when you read here, he showeth his word unto Jacob, and his statutes, and, and his judgments unto Israel. You have you have Esau reading this book like it's meant for them. You got Esau, or you got uh, the other the other nations, the heathens reading this book like it's for them. That's why they can't understand the book. You know what I mean? Because no matter how much research uh, 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 um, Esau does, he'll never get the full truth. He'll understand enough to 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 fool the whole world, including Israel. Right? Yeah, they know they know it's partially of the truth, but they don't know enough to have faith. Because if they knew enough, then they wouldn't be still trying to fight against the Most High. Right? So they, but at the end of the day, that's just them being programmed. Right? That's, they're just strictly programmed to do what they do. Um, quick precept for that. Going back to Romans. So I just read Psalms 147 and 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes, and his judgment unto Israel. Precept to that is Romans 9 and 4. Uh, Romans 9 and 4, and it reads, Who are Israelites? To whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants, the covenants which are written in this book, and the giving of the law, and the service of Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, and the promises. Yo, that's, that, that covers it all. Right? So the scripture says, Who the Israelites, Romans 9 and 4, to whom pertaineth the adoption. So only Israel is the, is the nation that's on this planet that's adopted, from the, adopted by the Most High. Because the Most High did away with us because we were being wicked. And then Yahushai was born and he brought us back to Yahweh. Yahweh Shai, hence why he's the savior for the nation of Israel. He's the mediator between us and Yahweh. And then it says, adoption and the glory and the covenants. The first covenant was broken. That was with Moses. And the se second covenant was made through uh, Yahweh Shai. Right? So those covenants were only meant for Israel, again, which come with the blessings. This covenants and the giving of the law. So the scriptures, the laws, the statutes and commandments of this book are only for Israel. And the service of God. So really, when people, the service of Yahweh, Baal Shem Shai, Slake. Um, so really, when, when you got Esau and these other nations thinking that they're men of the Lord, they're not men of the Lord, man. For you to even, for you to even be a man of the Lord, you have to be an Israelite. 
You have to be in it. It says it right here. It says, And the service of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. So who are so back to the top, who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of Yahweh by Shimei Shai? The service comes from his servants, and his servants are only going to be Israelites. All right, they're going to really serve him in righteousness, right? So one, you have to be an Israelite, and two, you have to be chosen of the chosen, right? Because as na Israel as a, as a whole is a chosen nation. But like I said earlier, the Most High has a chosen within the chosen, an elect within the elect, right? So 144,000 men who were, were chosen from or handpicked from Yahweh. Well, Yahweh Shai themselves to do this work, right? So, um, service of Yahweh and the promises. So, the promises of all the blessings, the spiritual powers, and the kingdom, the multiple women, right? And then, and the promised land, and the rest, and on all the on all those beautiful things are to only Israel and first the elect of Israel, okay? So back to Psalms 147 and 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob and his statues and his judgment unto Israel. Verse 20. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Yahweh Bashem Shai. So that's straightforward to the point, man. He did not he didn't deal so he didn't deal with any other nation like that. You got a lot of Christians that, that go into the New Testament and think that now the Most High has bought in. He changed his word and he changed his mind. And now he decided to give the blessing and the, and, and, and the salvation to everybody. That's not true. The Most High does not love everybody. Get that out of your head. He only loves Israel. And, he only, and at that, right now, he's only dealing with the elect of Israel. Because the rest of Israel is wicked. And they're thinking ass backwards, man. With all the wickedness that they're doing. So uh, two precepts to that. Uh, one here is Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 4. And it says, And he said unto me, Son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak, and speak with my words unto them. Straightforward, man. When the apostles, when the prophets of the Lord were sent to preach this word and to do the work of the Lord, they were sent to Israel. Every single time they were sent to Israel. And if they were sent to another nation, it's because Israel was mingled among that other nation. Like I said earlier, we were scattered across the world. So when we were scattered across the world and we lost our heritage, we took up the customs and, and the traditions of these other nations that we were dealing with, that we were mingled among. Right? Because we didn't know any better. It's because we forgot our law. We forgot the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. So we took up the customs and the traditions of these other nations. So we ended up looking like them, shaving our head like them, dressing like them, even speaking like them. Like right now, we speak in English, but technically my heritage is Hebrew. You know what I mean? So that's an example of that. But that's the only time the apostles... Or the prophets of the Most High were sent when they were sent among the other nations, is because there were Israelites in the midst of these other nations. It's still going to Israel only. Uh, Amos chapter 3, be my last precept. Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord Yahweh hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. So among all the nations on this planet, the Most High just said he's only known and paid attention to and acknowledged Israel. Where do you find the love in everybody for that? And even if you say, well, in the New Testament, he changed because uh, Yahweh Shai came. And, the, and, and now the, uh, the scriptures and the law, statutes, and commandments are for everybody. That's a lie. One, 
The Most High said he's not the author of confusion and that he is the same today, yesterday, and forever. And to be the same today, yesterday, and forever, you will not change your mind or else has to change. It's actually that simple. So that's a lie. Is that that the scriptures are contradicting themselves or you're are you contradicting yourself? And the scriptures never contradict themselves because this is the truth from the Most High himself while you have a shy. So that's already done. Um, you only have I known out of all the families on the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. And that's very, that's very straightforward, man. Like, again, I, I use this example a lot. But if you have a child and that child goes to steal with the next or neighbor's child and they get caught and they come back, are you going to discipline just your child or are you going to discipline both of those children? You're going to discipline just your child because that's your child. That's the people. That's the child. That's the person that you're dealing with. The neighbor will deal with their child and you'll deal with your child. That's how the most high is. That's what exactly what he's saying right now. He's like, because, because you were the only nation on this earth that I acknowledged and took care of and, 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 um, looked after it. All right. And acknowledged. I'm going to punish you for your iniquities. I don't give a shit about these other, these other nations because they mean nothing to him. They're just extras like in a movie. All right? So with that, I'm going to close. Again, my message was to let, you know, whoever's watching, let the world know, really, that the Most High is only dealing with Israel. And it's going to be made manifest even more as, as the years come, as, as, the, as this year goes by. And it's going to be made known through his elect. Because his elect are going to be Israelites. And they're going to be preaching the same thing. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom. And I want to say Kahala Yahweh. Wa Yahweh Shai. Ba Hashem Wa Kwadash. And double honors to the apostles. And the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to the elect. Pushing this word and truth and sincerity. Across the four corners of the earth. And death and destruction to his wicked kingdom. And two thirds of Israel. And Esau as well. Shalom.